A question a lot of us have is how long can coronavirus survive on surfaces? And how can we clean those surfaces in a way to make sure that we are limiting its spread? Joining us now is Andrea Gamble, environmental health scientist with the Salt Lake County Health Department. Andrea, great to have you on the show. Thanks so much for being here. Let's start with how do we, do we have any idea of how long viruses can actually survive on surfaces? So this is a new virus, but experts think that it can last on a hard surface for a couple of days. Okay, so that's uh, quite a while that it can be put on the surface and you can come pick it up later. So when we clean, what are the supplies that we're going to need to make the most of that? So the health department recommends using chlorine bleach. It's the very best thing. And you want to dilute it about one teaspoon per gallon of water and you can just put it in a spray bottle and then you can actually spray the surface and the contact time is about seven seconds to kill the germs. Okay, and so that one, that one's going to work really fast then? Yes, very okay. fast. And when we're doing that, you're kind of give us an, giving us a demonstration here. Is there a proper method you should use? And, or how much are you actually spraying down to clear that amount of surface there? Just enough to make the surface visibly wet and then you want to wipe it with a paper towel and then allow the rest of it to air dry. Okay, and after about seven seconds, that should take care with that ingredient get the coronavirus off that surface. Yes, and people often think, well, if a little bit is good, more is better, but that's not the case, especially on a food preparation surface. If you use more, you could actually cause chemical poisoning. Okay, very good point there. Uh, we were talking during the break, and you said something that really surprised me, because the wipes that you're gathering there now, they're very popular, but they take a lot more time to be able to actually be effective against the coronavirus. I was surprised to hear what you told me there. So if you read the manufacturer's label, it says you have to keep the surface visibly wet for four minutes. So that would take, you would have to wipe the surface with a few wipes. And then if you continue reading on the label, it says that you have to rinse with clear, clean water. There's fragrances and chemicals. So on a food prep surface, you would have to wipe it off. Okay. So these are really good for doorknobs in the bathroom, but when you're in the kitchen, you want to make sure that you're using bleach. Okay, very good. What other ingredients should we be looking for when we're looking for the most effective cleaner? Bleach. Chlorine bleach is the most effective cleaner. Okay, what about ammonia? People think that, or vinegar even. Any recommendations on those two? So the health department recommends bleach, and then in the sanitizing wipes, the sanitizer is quaternary ammonia, or quats, and that can be effective as long as it's on the surface for at least four minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so talk about the importance of all this. You kind of show, showed us how to do it properly there, but talk about the importance of getting into the kitchen and really doing a deep clean or even other surfaces throughout the home as well. How important and crucial can that be? It is very important to clean and sanitize your surfaces, especially doorknobs, light switches, anything that is a high touch area. Okay, and then as far, do you, I mean, obviously we're in the kitchen now, but I would imagine bathrooms, what other areas are we wanting to look at and make sure we're getting them clean there? So anywhere that people are touching a lot, so in your bathroom, the flusher, just things that we don't think about that everybody is touching, the faucets on your sink, just anywhere people are touching. Mm -hmm. And this obviously, if, if you're not taking these precautions, what kind of detrimental impact could it have? So cleaning surfaces is very important, but the most important thing we can do is social distancing. We want to stay away from someone, especially if they're coughing or they're visibly sick. Okay, so that's even within the walls of our own home? Yes. Okay. All right, very uh, important information, Andrea. We appreciate that. Again, I was quite surprised to uh, hear the information you had on the wipes. Didn't realize you needed to really be at it for that long uh, with those. Very popular product. And thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.